Well, today I'm going to be working on a water well pressure switch. Now, this pressure switch, we're not using it for actually the water well itself. We're using it for a irrigation system, or shall I say, rainwater catch system like you see right here in this big old tank. I got 3,000 gallons of water that I catch from the rain off the top of the building. I use it in the yard and use it in the garden. Now, this pump is a Wayne, and it's a 115 volt pump. So we'll not be using 220, 240 volts. We're going to be using 110. Now you can use this pressure switch with 110. And the way you do that is pretty simple. Now I don't have any power to it right now for the purpose of the video. But you'll see here, there's a black wire here and a black wire here. Now both of these are going to be sitting on the same side of this right here like you see. There. Now if you was running 220, 240, you'd be coming in here and coming in here and then going out and going out. But that's not the purpose today. We're doing 110, so you, you, only, you only have one live right there going to the left side of these contacts. So when the pressure gets up there too high, or too, when it gets too low, it'll kick these two on. Power will come in, power goes back out. This is out cord, this is in cord. Now what you'll do on the white wires, because you're going to have three wires, you're going to have a green, you're going to have a white, and you're going to have a black. Or that's the circumstance I'm in, and that's the way it should be wired properly. Your, your green is ground. Your white is neutral, and your black is always live wire here in Texas anyway. You'll tie, to take the green wires, put them right down here on the ground terminals, and then you take the two white wires, and you're going to wire nut them together, just like I did right there. They're not going to be tied into any switch, and it's hard to see that, but I just got them wire nutted together right there. So that gives us 110 coming in, 110 going out, and... Uh, we got, I got all this loose right now for the purpose of the video, but of course you'd be putting the grommet back in place to seal it up and, and put the, uh, seal up the other side as well. But that's how you hook up a 110 volt water well pressure switch. You won't be using the side at all. And make sure if you ta tackle this project, and I should have said this at the beginning and I didn't, kill the fire, the power going to this. Do not do what I'm doing right here without checking for voltage going to it. Kill the breaker at the main box if you're not sure. Do not play with electricity, hire an electrician. But you can also go over here and check it with a voltmeter. Make sure you've got voltage or dead or alive coming in here. Do not play with this again under live voltage, folks. It'll kill you. Well, if I shared any information that was valuable to you, I hope you uh, hit the like, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up or comments down below to tell us what we need to be doing and what you'd like to see us improve on. Thanks for watching.